NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Matt DiLoretto is uh, standing by in the Weather Center and sort of a mixed forecast, I gather, for the weekend ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very busy here in the Weather Center. We're tracking a couple of events, especially uh, Sunday into Mondays, because that's a more significant one. But there's still a little icing possible before that in parts of the region. We'll get to that in just a second. For now, though, just a cold rain. There's really no concerns with travel. Uh, mountain summits mixing in with snow. You can see northern New York, just some light to moderate showers. Same thing for southern Vermont. So it's really the entire region seeing this first slug of rain. It's all part of a low pressure along a stalled frontal boundary. And this boundary stays with us throughout the weekend. So you could see a stationary front extending all the way back toward uh, Kansas with some light precipitation riding along it. So that's going to be the case as we go into the weekend. And you could see tomorrow morning the showers stick around in northern areas. Southern Vermont does get a break throughout the day tomorrow. So the farther south you go, the better it will be during the day on Saturday. Rain showers sticking around, some light drizzle, maybe some freezing rain at the mountain summits, but it's still on the mild side tomorrow. And then as we move into Saturday night and Sunday morning, there could be just enough cold air, especially in the St. Lawrence Valley, just west of Plattsburgh as well, Route 11 corridor to change things over to freezing rain, which could cause a glaze of ice. You see here in the pink shading, this is just west of the Champlain Valley on the New York side and Route 11, just seeing a little glaze. This is sort of an unassuming look. It might even look just wet as you're stepping out the door Sunday morning, but just keep in mind if you're headed out early, you might have to scrape the car a little bit if you're in the St. Lawrence Valley. Then comes the bigger system late Sunday into Monday. We've got that uh, low pressure developing off to our south, and at first it'll be too warm for any snow. I think everybody starts off as a period of rain Sunday late afternoon. This is 4 p.m. shown here, and then look how quickly things change over to snow east of the Green Mountains and also along the Adirondacks. You could see some heavy snow falling along portions of I-89, also I-87. So travel will quickly deteriorate Sunday night into Monday. Notice how the Champlain Valley holds on to the rain just a little bit, even Monday morning. I think temperatures are going to be very similar to what they were last week, Sunday into Monday, when we had very marginal temperatures near freezing. So just a difference of one or two degrees could mean a few inches of snow in the Champlain Valley or totally nothing. So this forecast is very, very fickle. You'll definitely want to check back throughout the weekend. The precipitation lasts all throughout the day on Monday as well, but it does become lighter. So I just want to give you an early estimate of what we could expect by sunrise on Monday. This is a very elevation dependent storm. So above 2000 feet, a foot of snow, not out of the question. Saranac Lake and Lake Placid a little bit lower there, four to eight. Uh, inches possible there. Also into uh, the St. Lawrence Valley, Messina uh, and Malone, just a little bit less than that. Champlain Valley doesn't show much right now, but I think there is a potential for this to be a little bit higher than what's shown right now, just because temperatures will be so marginal. But certainly along and east of the Green Mountains, as you go up a foot of snow, very likely here, even Montpelier coming in with a four to eight inch event. And that foot of snow extends south toward Killington, four to eight inches for Okemo and Mount Snow, about two to four inches for the upper valley is the early estimate at this point. So very busy here the next several days. We've got the impact weather for Sunday into Monday just because of that rain and heavy wet snow. Power outage is certainly possible with this one once again, and then it turns colder and dry for the rest of next week. High struggling out of the 20s. Stu, Alice.